Alright guys, so it's been a while since I made a video about the 500R. I have too many projects going on right now, so I just didn't really have time to think about it. So the 500 is already gone, it was sold back in May, so it's been a couple of months since I'm filming this right now in November. It's been sold for $1,200. Originally, I traded the bike with a trailer that was worth $300. I then put around $700 on the bike, uh, coming up to a total of $1,000. I sold it for $1,200. Uh, I could have sold it for $15 uh, since there was a little issue with it, uh, but I just didn't have time to fix it, so I just sold it for $1,200. Let's go inside. So like I said, I didn't really get time to uh, do stuff with it since I was always brushed to do so. There's even a video I haven't uploaded where I actually did the uh, chain guard uh, just from scrap metal. Uh, I didn't show any of that because uh, I was just uh, rushed to do stuff. There's also the uh, license plate bracket that I took off the 650R to actually put it on the 500 just so I'd have a, a mud guard to pass safety. It looked horrible with four flashers in the back but at least uh, it did pass safety so that was all good after that i've had uh, the bike for about a month i'd say so on the road so i got kind of used to it and everything and then the coils started acting up so i changed them again it worked for a couple weeks and then stopped again and then it would just uh, kind of go on, go off uh, every day. I knew it was probably the set of coils that I bought, uh, they weren't really good. So I know uh, maybe it was the cause. Um, so anyways, I kind of just left it on the side, uh, put it for sale. And then um, by the time I even had to order the parts, uh, someone came by and bought for $1,200. Um, so I was kind of... I knew I had the trouble to pay $100 for the coils, but like there's multiple other things uh, that were just kept like adding on to the list. Since I'm an honest person, I always say all the problems there is on the vehicle. I don't hide anything. Sometimes it could be really bad for me because I'm too honest and people want to deal off the price. So uh, even though they pay, they had the same thing, but paying like $700 more, but just not knowing what the problems are. I made $200 profit on it. Uh, I could have made more, uh, but I just didn't want to waste my time with that. Uh, I had money to put in the 250, which you guys don't ever see on the channel. I'm probably gonna have some videos on it, even though it's for sale. Uh, I have my KX60 and I have the top end uh, rebuild to do. There have been multiple problems with this bike. It's a, it's a piece of junk, but uh, it's gonna get there someday. We also have the 650R that's been recent, uh, recently plated. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the videos yet, uh, you can go and check on my channel. The 650R is going in storage, so we won't be seeing it for another six months. The 250, I'm on... I think I gotta clean it. You won't really see anything with that. Maybe a video or two, uh, but it's not a project, so it's not something... I want to show more than the others. For sure, in the next years, I'm gonna have something else. So, we'll see what it is. <laughs> So most of the time I always say what my budget is, how much I spent uh, and everything like that. So I'm still going to do that for that. Originally I had plans to put around $300 on this bike, thinking it was a $300 trailer and $300 I repaired. Uh, it would have probably cost me only $600, which is not what happened. Just to remind you guys, uh, the owner of the bike decided to drill out the pilot air screw. Uh, between the time I talked to him and I went to his house and he broke the carburetor so I probably would have saved a good uh, $250 if he didn't do that uh, it was my first time doing a flip like that it was a cool process some things I do are more excessive than what what needs to be done say uh, painting the uh, subframe or stuff like that people don't see that there's stuff like that that I did that that that's not required to flip a bike. It's just that I had time, so why not do it? So instead of buying $300 of parts, I actually spent 700, if I, I think it's 700. All included, that was a thousand dollar bike. Selling it for 1200 only gave me $200 of profit. If you take in all the hours I spent on it, it is not worth it at all. But if I spent the 100 more for the coils and sold it for 1500, then I would have made $400 of profit which is not 
that bad. If I count all the hours I spent on it, I probably spent like 50 to 60. For 50 to 60 hours to live on that, I take at least a thousand dollars. So 400 doesn't come up to that number yet. So if you had like two projects uh, going on, I could have complete the 500 in probably two months if it was during summer and stuff. If it wasn't for the uh, certification that takes a long time, it would have been done in like a week. So, so anyways, if you ask me, is it worth it? I think so. Uh, you just have to manage your time. Don't spend too much time on the details. People don't care, so just just do what needs to be done. If you have more time, like I did, then go ahead and do that stuff. Uh, but it's gonna cost you on time, so. Anyways, here's some pictures of the bike when I sold it. That's about it for the 500. If you guys have any more question about it, uh, you can leave some comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said right now, I have, I have the KX60 and the uh, Ninja 650R. It's probably going to be more KX60 content for the next uh, few videos. And I'm also going to post some uh, random videos along the way. That's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.